Hello everybody, Dave Neal here, stand-up comic host of Bachelor Nation News, and this is our third video of the day. We've got Tyler explaining why he lost respect for Victoria. If you guys don't remember, Tyler was in the audience when Victoria and uh, Johnny were having their post-breakup discussion, and Tyler was silenced, and it was kind of like weirdly edited, and everyone's like, what were you trying to say? Of course, he's good friends with Johnny, so he's going to support him, but we want to get into that, so I'm going to play for you his conversation on Chicks in the Office podcast and everything that went down. Follow me on Instagram for stand-up show updates and just overall content at DNeals. I've got the link there for our our, um, our mom of the day for our uh, Amazon 12 Days of Gifts and also patreon.com slash Dave Neal for all the behind-the-scenes bonus content. All right, so this video is coming tomorrow. Brittany Galvin sharing her side of the Tyler Norris breakup. So we'll hold on to that story because that's a whole different issue we're not properly ready for and it's a little later in the day. So here's why Tyler wanted, here's what Tyler wanted to say to Victoria and then I'll share what was reported reality Steve said he actually said so maybe he's leaving some of that out right here have a listen just the biggest thing for me why I like jumped in and it by was, the way this Jersey accent just like Victoria just because like we're all one big family mm -hmm. no matter what at the end of the day you leave in a relationship in Alabama yeah it doesn't work out but we're on a national television show yeah all right going on there and attacking Barely. somebody's character like she did with Johnny and like knowing the truth I know that John. And of course, she would argue that her character was attacked by being called a cheater. Didn't say those things. Um, you know, going through my relationship and him going. And then and then Tyler here says, I know for a fact that Johnny didn't say those things. And of course, respectfully, you can't know for a fact. You only know what you know. Just like we can't know for a fact if someone didn't cheat, like from a third party, we can't know for a fact if he said those things. Going through his, we would like check in with each other all the time. And I was just so upset because I never had a problem with Victoria whatsoever. Yeah. Like at, at the end of the day, even like still now, all I did was lose respect because of what she did. You know, wow. just coming at him saying, you called me this, you said this. And I'm sitting there. I'm like, that's not true. And also like we're on a television, like we're yeah. on a show where predominantly it's women watching the show. The yeah. things that you are saying, you better have like backed up like facts but do you feel like there's maybe a chance that you may not know if he actually said those things or not because because i feel this way for yeah. both of them right. like i think mm -hmm. that devil's advocate i think that johnny was wrong i think victoria was wrong in different aspects of their relationship i think that they both could have done things differently but do you feel like maybe like your friend isn't going to be straight up and be like yeah bro i called her this no you know yeah. like he could he could yeah. be telling you no, I didn't say that. But and of course, Victoria says that that uh, he didn't call her that. But he says, he says, I didn't call you the C word. I said, you're being like a C. And it's like, all right, I didn't call you. A f I didn't call you a, f a fatty. I said, you're being like a fatty. You know what I mean? It's like, no, no matter where you, I didn't call you a, a deadbeat, daddy. You're just acting like a deadbeat. I didn't call you a power recap where you're just power recapping. You know what I mean? Uh, I didn't call you. Okay. You get the point here. I didn't tell you. Yeah. I had nice hair. I said, your hair is acting very nice today okay well all that what if i just do that for the next 20 minutes okay insecurity so, i'm kidding look at this new sweatshirt i got here from tipsy elves it says you're a, what does it say ask your mom if i'm real how how vulgar is that okay you can see uh, my unboxing of this on the vlogmas channel over there um on tasha courtney's channel link in the comment section below all right sorry wow we took a real lot uh, tangent but there. like he did you exactly. know i feel like you don't know for sure and i think yeah that's maybe where the frustration frustration mm -hmm. came from but i also understand the point of wanting to defend your friend you so i kind of see like both truth. sides of that. no exactly i mean all of it in any relationship when it ends there's going to be two sides every story yeah yeah and everyone's going to say i said this or you said that and it's just going to go back by the way i'm getting major i love you vibes from the girl on the left what's her name your Look, friend on the so left. i kind of see like both yeah. sides of that. no exactly Forces. i mean all of it in any relationship when it ends there's going to be two sides every story yeah there's yeah. And everyone's going to say, I said this, or you said that, and it's just going to go back and forth, and nobody's going to really know, unless mm -hmm. obviously you have receipts or something like that. Right. Um, but I just knew, like, I know who Johnny is. Like, I got to know him. Like, That's that Southern, what is it called? The Delco? Like, Delaware, Jersey, and Philly. Like, I knew, I knew him. Very well, even, like, post-show, like, post. getting to know him. and um, Post-show, getting to know him. I thought to myself, even, like, going in there, going. like, I thought I was just like, all right, if Victoria comes out here... Because there's everything going on around her going and on. Greg. And honestly, like, you're with Greg. You're done. You're not. A He's like, I'd like to go down on you. A relationship with Johnny. Just be happy. That's perfectly fine. But coming on, I was hoping that she would come on and just be like. It I was hoping to make you come. Okay. Didn't work out. Like, right. I'm with Greg now. 
like leave it like that. So we're gonna wrap up. Do you want to now tell us uh, what you were gonna say on the reunion? Please do. <laughs> he did. Reunion. I feel like yes, he did. yes. So well, not really. Like what? What was? If the, she had let me talk, what, yeah. If she let you talk, what I, were you gonna say? I would have been like Victoria. And by the way, I'm bet you these ladies on Barstool would be way better partners than anyone on Bachelor, right? They're funny women. They're kind of like self-made. I mean, they work for Barstool, but they're, they're like, they're brand names. They don't get enough credit. I think they should be, I think Tyler should be dating one of them. You literally just got engaged to this guy. You told this guy you were absolutely in love with him. And now on national television, you're going to attack his character. I'll just be like, this is somebody that you were just like literally with. Yeah. I was just like, you don't give a shit about him. Like, that's what I would have said. Mm. There's no doubt. I feel no doubt. Well, here's what he was at. Here's what he actually said, according to Reality Steve, who had an informant sitting down there at the re at the at the thing. Tyler was out there with the rest of the cast, and he said he heard from a reporter that Victoria cheated at a party in L.A., and she was telling everyone she was very much single. Victoria went off and started yelling at Tyler, telling him to be quiet, and this didn't involve him. So that part was left out. Um, why, and again, maybe we just need some X-Files music. Why would Tyler know not to talk about that pot? And it might just be that, um, you know, he, his, maybe his reporter source ended up saying, hey, cool off on this. Or, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe they just realized they wouldn't have a smoking gun. So why bring up those claims? But to be fair, if, if Tyler did accuse um victoria of cheating like in the audience there then he should understand why she would come out there because even though she even though victoria is tearing down johnny's uh character tyler's tearing down hers you know what i mean like what's true what's not here and that's what it all comes down to and we and what we know about victoria she's a lovely person until backed into a corner like most people we saw that on different shows where she was feeling like she was getting abandoned and look we talk about it all the time it's inner child stuff we talk about it all the time greg grippo and victoria talked about it work on your inner child stuff you know hurt people hurt people oh so and so did awful things yeah but we 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 have a hell of a lot of collateral damage trying to figure out what brings us peace? Absolutely. Um, anyway, let's finish this off. Feel it, but it's probably better for you not to get involved. Yeah. Oh no, hundred like, percent. Like I better felt... that she almost better that she cut you off. Oh, a hundred percent. I was yeah. just def I was so defensive, like yeah. in that time. It's being, your guy. It's my guy. Yeah. You know? Even like the little <laughs> scenes they showed of you guys talking outside. Yeah. You know, was... And yeah, I was so glad that I got to talk to him because he had no idea Greg was there. Yeah. No clue. Oh, even shit. afterward, even afterwards, like not until that night when I saw him afterwards, he goes, I heard Greg was there. I was just, he goes, I heard Greg was there. But yeah, dude, literally when I was outside with you, he was inside Damn. and he was just like, dude, that's so disrespectful. Yeah, they were playing both at the same time. And yeah. we were like, oh, this is diabolical. Yeah. Yes. All right, interesting. So when Johnny stormed out, hey, Johnny didn't storm out. When Johnny left the set and Tyler came out to consult Johnny, Greg was inside, so he didn't even know. Yeah, it was tough. That is very sneaky. It's reality TV. It's reality TV. Very sneaky. Very sneaky, yeah. operate, yeah. very sneaky for Well, thank sure. you so much for coming thank to talk you. to us. No, you were great. Amazing. I feel like we got a lot of information. A it was lot great. of it, though. Yeah. Go I'm Birds. Cool. Go Birds. Absolutely. I like This is the way every Bachelor podcast should be operated. Chicks in the office, 99% of the time, does conversations in, por in person. They're based out of New York. When people are in New York, they do their interview. It's just baffling to me as i talk over and over that bachelor podcasts are still doing this zoom thing and as we're seeing they're all dying i made a video if you didn't see it earlier about michelle young kind of ghosting her show she hasn't been on it in a month talking it out quit you know the only podcasts that are doing well are these in-person interviews that you have carrying you know long form conversation the the southern the south jersey accent really i picked up on it do too. i have a south yeah 100 yeah, but it made yeah, me feel it's great. at home i know you sound like my uncles yeah. <laughs> <If> I, <laughs> you sound like my uncles now pull now tell me to pull my finger and you fart uh does anyone else have uncles that do that oh boy oh uh, you know i don't know if it's being raised catholic but my catholic uncles had quite the catholic gas let me tell you potent okay that's the holy spirit all right folks well that's it for this episode more content coming your way bachelor rush hour the podcast will be next so go check out that wherever you listen to podcast bachelor rush hour every day a full wrap-up of the day's content we'll see you in a minute